Hi everyone and welcome back to the zombies. In this video I want to go through my process of regaining whenever I need to. Whether you died in a match, had a game crash and lost everything or simply want to kit out a new operator, each of us needs to regain every now and then. Obviously as you progress with your unlocks this becomes much easier as you can craft high grade tools and gear but I'll show the process with nothing at all so it fits even a player who's only just starting the game. I'll infill without any weapon at all since whatever you bring in with you will have a common rarity and will barely be effective in the low threat zone. Don't worry though, I won't be defenseless for too long. Where you spawn on the map in your regain round kinda matters as it defines your first priority. Spawning on the south or western side of a map is generally easier since good looting area in the medium threat zone are closer. North is a bit worse in my opinion and east is my least favorite. In this run I spawned in the south so my first order of business is to get to the police station in the city to see if I can get myself a reasonable weapon and possibly a vest and a backpack. The main objective in these first few minutes of a run is to actively avoid confrontation until you are ready for it. Getting a vehicle helps with that tremendously as not only gets you a required mobility, it also serves as a protection, a getaway car and a weapon when you need it. The city police station I'm aiming at first is in low threat zone which makes it easier to loot but limits the usefulness of weapons found in it. But there is a great chance to get a blue rarity weapon there which immediately lets you feel comfortable against any tier 1 zombies, even in big numbers. If you happen to find a blue melee weapon, that's already effective against tier 2 zombies without a problem. In my looting, I tend to only check containers that have a good chance of useful stuff. Any container has some chance of good loot, but checking everything costs time and gets you to stick around a single place for longer, which in turn exposes you to higher risk of getting into a fight with bad odds. Concentrate your attention on lockers for vests and backpacks, weapons lockers for guns and vests, cash registers for money, fridges for free perks and merc and ether caches of all sizes for a variety of high value items. Continuing the travel I check the map to see whether a high rise building is a fortress or not. If the cubby is there I skip it altogether, but if not the ground floor and surrounding area are a great spot for a number of good loot chests that you can check while outrunning the zombies. Top of a high rise is a much more dangerous place with three special zombies normally spawning there so it's better to skip it until you get some gear sorted. The next stop is a bank building. Always check the roof of it as it can have up to four different caches there. When roof is cleaned I go through the back door into the loading area. The truck usually has a box or two and an adjacent room has two weapons lockers usually containing decent guns in them. Then into the main area to check the vault and the offices on the ground floor, main lobby and offices upstairs. Listen to the audio clues for hints whether any more large chests are left untouched. After the bank I usually check the burger joint across the road as it often contains some good stuff too. And I'm not disappointed this time as I find a rare Rinetti which is an excellent gun. Another great looting location nearby is an appliance store. There's plenty of them in and around Zaravan city and they usually have a bunch of loot chests and always have two regular and two weapons lockers, being a great place to get some good gear too.
Now barely 6 minutes into the run I have 2 good weapons and skipped a few more. A self revive, a 3 plate and a medium backpack. Loot is randomized so you don't always get all the needed items right away. But just looting like that you are almost guaranteed to have at least 2 plates vests, a suitable gun and a medium bag. All of it with minimal risk without having to engage in firefights with mercs or what not. If I do happen to spawn away from anything good, the order changes to making my way to the nearest cargo delivery contract in medium threat zone. Medium is preferred since in low threat there's two mercs outside the garage and they do shoot at you, while in the medium there's only zombies. And cargo delivery is great as on top of getting you some cash and contract rewards, it also gives you a good vehicle and takes you into a different area which has even more potential for good loot. And of course, keep your eyes open for anything good as you traverse to pick up the contract and pick up the car. If you already have a vehicle, use it to get rid of zombies at the gates of the garage. Otherwise, just throw a decoy or Semtex to distract or kill the zombies. Ignore the mercs in the garage, just drive off as soon as you open the doors. Get your rewards from the contract and then use surrounding area to look for anything else you still need to fully kit out. The area I ended up in after the contract has a firefighter station. That is a great spot for more loot caches and has two lockers that are worth checking. Right next to it is another police station with 4 more regular and 3 weapons lockers with the possibility of additional loot caches. There's an infested stronghold usually close to it, so beware of mimics coming for you with a visit. Depending on where you are in your regain, either kill them or just jump out of the window and make a run for it. From this location I usually go to another delivery contract in the building under the bridge. On the way there, there is another appliance store worth checking for more goodies. This time containing a legendary weapon for free. I'm happy with weapons I already have though, so I leave it there. On the way from the contract pickup to the garage, there's yet another firefighter station with more potential for loot, and right before the gas station is a hidden stash. Gas stations themselves should not be ignored. Whenever they are not an ether nest, it's worth checking them for loot caches, to cache registers and anything useful standing on the shelves. This delivery contract brought us back into Zaravan city, so let's check the area for more loot areas on the outskirts. Market area on the west side of the city has two warehouses with two lockers each, and here we finally find a large backpack.
After checking this area, I move up the hill. There's another police station offering a nice loot, but this time it's an infected stronghold, so I skip it. The gas station, car repair shop next to it and a house nearby are all good places to check for more loot. They usually spawn a few loot chests, there's two lockers in the house and a few cash registers for easy money. I usually scoop this whole area while the car is refueling and repairing. My path now lies up north, into the area I often visit first if I happen to spawn at the top of the map. I purposely skip the low town, even though many people like it for loot. And it's usually good with a whole bunch of loot caches, but I hate its tight spaces where you can easily get cornered by zombies and I'm not a fan of hopping the roofs either, so I pass. My target is the main entrance of Pop of Power. Not only it usually has a delivery contract in there, but it's also a path to a ton of lockers, right up the stairs from the reception. The dressing room has a whopping 15 lockers in one place, more than any other location on the map. Then, just down the corridor is a weapons locker too, and there's a chance of a loot cache nearby. To top things off, there's four more lockers after a blast door mark 3. Another delivery contract leads me to the port area. There's plenty of loot in it too, but I'm not a fan of it due to a large density of zombies around. I usually just check the large warehouse on the southern end of the port, since it has a room with a bunch of lockers too, and occasionally some loot caches spawning inside. This is basically my standard regain looting run, with targeted loot areas on each side of the map depending on where I spawn. You may notice it's all in the medium threat zone, that's for a reason since the loot is so much better here than in tier 1, but you still can run away from pretty much anything at any point without worrying about horrible death. Normally 10 or 15 minutes into the round I'm fully geared up and ready to proceed with any further plan like doing specific contracts, missions or just running into the red zone to farm. I'll leave the rest of the run here as a bonus without commentary just to demonstrate that you don't need to worry about your gear much. It's totally possible to go from having nothing at all to doing contracts in the red zone within one game and then exfil successfully. Hope this was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
Marking contract. 